Hello, and welcome to more discussion of node queues. Uh, this is the second part, I guess, of screencast on node queues. And we had been going through these various node queues, one for blog, one for deadline, one for events. We'd inspected those. We went into news. We would see exactly the same thing, and it works exactly the same way. Um, you can actually navigate back to the list of node queues by clicking here. If we were to look at the node queue for podcasts and videos, same thing. Now, um, I guess I had also mentioned that you might want to drag and drop these so that the French are grouped with French and the English with English, just to make things easier on yourself in terms of having the order here uh, reflect what you see on the home page. Um, okay, so I had mentioned that one way uh, to arrive at the node queue list was to go to content management, node queue, and then list, and then you get the list of node queues. There are multiple ways to do this. Another way is to go up here and uh, you'll notice in the location bar that um, it says devel.com, so that's my development machine, but in your case it'll say then ER.ca and type in admin and this takes you to the admin interface and you can under uh, oops, excuse me under content management here on the side uh, you can also navigate to node queue and that's another way of getting there but I think it might just be easier for you to use this node queue list option here um, but yeah be mindful that on the sidebar here, even when you drill down into one of these, you have the ability to go back to the list of node queues here on the side menu. That may or may not be useful to you, but I just thought I'd point it out. Um, and a third way to access these node queues is to, um, and actually I'm going to do this from the home page because for some reason the administration menu is a larger size there, you can go into content management, content, list. <clears throat> now, we only have, um, oh, and we see, actually, this is a good example of how the content filter is active here. We have something we were already searching for deadline types. So let's just reset the filter there. And now it'll be displaying all of our content. And this is actually a good illustration of the content filter because we if, even if we scroll down this list, we'll see, oh, where's our home page? We can't find it. Where could it be, you know? And we've got pages and pages of content that we'd actually have to search through in order to find it. Sorry, please disregard that pop-up menu. That's just sensitivity of my trackpad. Okay, so um, now uh, you would just um, select Type and then Home Page and filter. And there's our home page. We've got both French and uh, French and English home page. I'm just going to uh, click through the English home page, okay? And you know, it's it's not much of a thing to look at here outside the context of the home page, but let's click through to edit it. Okay. Now here's actually where you can edit, you know, various parts of the home page. Um, the title, which uh, you know would be displayed here. Uh, the about title, about title is the. Um, actually, let me show you here. It's going to be this title, whatever is above the about us blurb, basically. So, in our case, it's join us, and now this is all the text that is displayed here. And the blog feed title is this title here. If you wanted that to say something else, like chickens or ducks or something, you could change the text right here to, um, I'm going to do it just to show you we can. I'm going to change it to chickens. We'll save. And now if we navigate back to the home page and reload. It now says chickens, which, you know, we don't really want it to say. So let's go back and edit it. And 
it says blog again, save it, click through, and now it says blog. Great. So let's go back and edit our home page again. <clears throat> And um, all of these things, the blog feed title, deadlines feed title, events feed title, featured member box title, they all correspond to uh, the various headings that you see here, 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 here and here. Okay, All of those are configurable through these fields here. And then we have, and this is why I navigated here, we have the various feeds for the home page. And if you click off of each point here, you can edit each one of these node queues. The blog will take you to the blog edit queue. The deadlines will take you to the deadlines queue, and so on. OK. and. The same goes for, I'm just clicking back <laughs> to get to our, our listing where we actually clicked through our home page in the first place. And there's the French home page. And if we edit, we can access all the uh, similar fields in en français. There we go. And the various node queues are accessible from here too. And there you go. Okay, um, I think that's all that I really wanted to say about the node queue and how it works. If you have any more questions about it, I'd be very happy to answer them. You can email me at uh, juliet at openessent.com and um, I'd be happy to answer any of your questions or concerns. Thanks for listening.